Hello, and thanks for joining us today. I'm Jessica Cuenca, and I'm a student ambassador here at Daytona State College. The college is building a brand new residence hall on campus, and we're really excited about it. As an ambassador, I get asked a lot of questions about the new on-campus housing all the time. So College President Tom Labasso is here with us today to answer some of your questions. Dr. Labasso, welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, Jessica. That's awesome. We're going to go ahead and get started. And the very first question is actually one of our most frequently asked questions. All right. What are some of the qualifications to live in the residence hall? It's not just for athletes, correct? Correct. It's, uh, it's open to any student that's interested. Um, so, you know, being it's brand new, uh, we'll probably approach it as a first come, first serve. Okay. So I would encourage students to to apply for it as soon as they can. Applications will open in late August, early September is what we're scheduled to open up applications for the new residence hall. So, um, you, know, you know, if you're a returning student, you know, obviously you need to be a student. Um, I think they're having, we're looking at a 2.0 GPA or higher. Uh, so you're in good academic standing. And then for new students, you know, again, I think first come first serve is how we'll uh, handle that. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, will all the rooms be the same size? So we have a couple options. Uh, the majority of them are going to be uh, a, a double room suite. So there'll be two rooms, two students in each room, and you share that suite, which has its own bathroom. Oh, so wow. you're only ever sharing a bathroom with uh, a total of four students. Okay. So I'd say 90% of the rooms are set up that way. Then we have some single suites, so it's the same layout, but rather than having a roommate, you have your own room, so those two people would share that suite. And that suite comes with a toilet room, shower, and sinks. Okay. So then we have a single private suite. So we have four of those that are built into the building, and so that's just one person, one bedroom, and one um, suite that has the, the one bathroom suite for that room, so you have your own bathroom. So, wow. so there'll be uh, you know, those options available. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Do we get to pick our own rooms or do we get assigned a room? And can we pick our own roommates? So I think they're going to assign the rooms. Uh, and yes, there's an opportunity to, to, to match with a roommate. So if you have a, a friend, a classmate, and you want to room together, you can make that request. And then we will, I think, uh, select the, the actual room uh, location. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Will we be allowed to have guests over? Yes, there's going to be a, so they're developing a handbook uh, on the policies and procedures for living in the residence hall, and there is opportunities to have guests. Okay, that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I know the website says that rooms are fully furnished, but what exactly does that mean? Great question. So, um, again, if you're in a, the double rooms, in, in, the, in the bedroom itself, there would be two beds, uh, a dresser for each student, okay. uh, a desk for each student that comes in the room. Uh, and, then, um, and, and then outside in the, the suite area, you know, it's, there's nothing really to bring in furniture-wise, but it, it has sinks, it has closets, and, it's, and a closet, two closets in the room as well. And, um, and then, um, yeah, then it's just a, a regular suite with the bathroom facilities. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm bringing a mini fridge to my dorm. Are, are there elevators or no? Yes. Okay. Yep. It's a four-story building. Okay. So um, it has uh, an elevator. And, um, and also a function of it, um, we're going to have a smart card. So you need a card to get into the building. Okay. You need a, you need a card to get into, your, into the elevator. And then also a card to get onto the wing of your floor. Oh, wow. So, so we built some good security um, yeah. in, uh, protocols into the building. Uh, and then the, that card will get you into the suite. Okay. And then you get a regular key to get into your room. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so. great security. Yeah. Um, will we have dedicated internet for gaming consoles? Yes. Yeah, so the building's going to have you know, Wi-Fi throughout. But then inside the room, there'll be a dedicated Ethernet. So okay. you can plug in directly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That'll save a lot of energy. Yeah. Um, can we bring our cars? Yes, yes, cars are allowed on campus, so you'll have the ability to have your, your car on campus. Okay, and the parking will be close to the dorms, and how much will parking cost? So here's some good news. There is no cost for parking, so, uh, so there's no cost. And the, 
I, we haven't designated necessarily specific spots for the resident students, but they are building, um, we, we're actually just finished uh, a, a renovation of the parking lot and, and there's parking that is, comes up right to the residence hall. Okay, awesome. Um, what will it be like to live on campus? So great question. I think, you know, uh, obviously, you know, uh, having a uh, resident hall on campus is going to give the opportunity for students to be more engaged uh, in their classroom activities uh, and the ability to engage with other students on campus. Besides that, you know, living on campus, you're going to have, you know, your steps away from classes, from the academic support center, the library, study rooms, the Lemron uh, Fitness Center, the swimming pool, the gym. So, you know, so if you can imagine living on campus uh, and we have a full student activities office that will program activities for the resident students as well as all of our students. So there'll be intramural opportunities, intramural soccer, flag football, uh, you name it, I think we're gonna be able to do a lot more in that arena. So I think campus life will be vibrant uh, we have 10 athletic sports, mm -hmm. so, you know, um, you can imagine that, you know, there's a basketball game going on, and literally it's 100 feet away from the residence hall that if you're looking for something to do, walk over and, and watch, watch a, a very exciting uh, basketball uh, game. All of our teams are very good, and they're, and they're very exciting to watch. So uh, I'm excited to, to go to the games and, and, and have our students enjoy the athletic venues that we have. That would be awesome. That sounds so cool. I'm yeah. actually really excited for the events. What kind of meal options will they have? Right, so if you're living on in, in the residence hall, you are required to, to purchase a meal plan. So they're gonna have several different options. Um, I believe the um, minimum option, I think, is a 14 meal a week plan, I believe is what they're working on. Okay. And, and, and hopefully this will all be published relatively soon. But there'll be a required meal plan and then the options you can you know, you can do the 14 meal. I think there might be a 19 meal. That could be, depends on, on you know, your individual circumstance. Um, so there'll be some choices and there'll be dining dollars um, that, uh, you know, and it's quite common, new to you as a student who has been here and hasn't seen that, but at other colleges, usually with a meal plan comes dining dollars. So you can go to Maury's Cafe and, and, you know, buy some Starbucks coffee with it, you know, a snack uh, in between normal hours and things like that. So, so yeah, so you can have all those opportunities. Okay, awesome. Um, will it be affordable to live on campus? Yes, I think we're gonna be very affordable if, uh, you know, we, you know, part of our, our mission is, is access. You know, we, we, we believe in, in access to education. So part of that is affordability. So like we, we haven't raised our tuition in 11 years uh, and, um, the, the housing is, is, is priced, I think, at a point that's extremely affordable. Um, and, you know, students, uh, uh, the, our most neediest students will have the opportunity through grants and things like that to, to easily afford uh, a housing opportunity. Okay. And finally, why should, why should students choose to live here on campus? I think, uh, you know, part of the things we talked about, I think, you know, the, the experience of living on campus you'll have the opportunity to, to make lifelong friends. Uh, the friendships that I think you can develop when you're, you're living in a residence hall uh, are, are, are just uh, very treasurable uh, events that, that happen. So I think you'll have lifelong friends. I think it's gonna help student retention because again, you're gonna just be you know, steps away from academic support, tutoring, the library, study rooms, your professors have office hours literally all around you. So, you know, you want to, uh, you know, I think it's going to really uh, enhance that faculty student relationship. Uh, you know, I hope, you know, the vision is I'll see a faculty member at a picnic table with a student having a conversation about a class that just took place. Uh, and those, again, I think it's going to be more conducive because of that housing that's on campus. So, so I think if you're looking for a, a campus, you know, I think our campus is beautiful. You're gonna have a lot of activities that are gonna be built in. So you're gonna have a really uh, a traditional college experience. We're by the beach. Yes. <laughs> We're by a lot of activities. So I think it's just, if you're looking for uh, you know, a full college experience, that's why you'd wanna live on campus. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Lavasso. You're welcome. Um, I know you have a very busy schedule, so thank you for coming to talk to us today. And then this is going to be a great year for Daytona State students. I'm so glad to be a part of it. If you're interested in learning more, please visit daytonastate.edu or email housing at daytonastate.edu.